Hello Internet! I am Torstein from Cinema Teru, and today I got a co-production from Argentina and Spain to talk about, and that film is, as you already seen in the title of this video, the 2008 rape revenge movie I'll Never Die Alone. As with so many other movies that are in this brutal and controversial subgenre, this film follows a group of young girls on a road trip, where they suddenly come across something that will change their lives forever. The difference here is that there are not only one female protagonist, but four. They find a woman laying bloody on the side of the road, and after they take her to the nearest police station, they themselves become the target of a small group of sadistic rapists. After being tortured for a big part of the film, they get to the revenge part, and after that, the movie's done. It's that simple of a plot, yes. <laughs> so basically this film has nothing that we haven't seen before. It's almost a remake of I Spit on Your Grave, just filmed in Argentina and with four victims instead of one. And that's not a change that works for this film, as with four characters it needed to spend more time developing them as they share screen time, and a film like this has to succeed in making us care and feel for them. And that's a big problem with this film. It's been a few hours from me watching this film to now sitting and writing about it, and I couldn't guess the name of any of the female characters in this film, even if my life depended on it. In fact, I can't even mention any characteristics that would separate the four women from each other. So when you watch them get tortured, it will only affect you if you are inexperienced with cinema that has this kind of violence. It feels strange to say that you can become jaded from watching horrible acts such as rape, but when it is done in a way that makes it impossible for you to believe in anything that is going on on screen, then you will be taken out of it and the shock value will not work. Another huge problem I had with the film was its pacing. It seemed to deliberately let scenes last longer than necessary just to pan out the running time. Some totally unnecessary scenes go on for several minutes and have no purpose at all for the movie, and are just boring to sit through. I guess some of this might be my own fault, as I went with the extended version called the extra sleazy one. Because I have no shame at all and want all the sleaze in the world. <laughs> From what I found out, this version mostly adds to the running time of the rape scene, which in it takes up around 25 minutes of the entire film. Even with that being cut down though, the film is still way longer than what it has any purpose of being. There is an attempt at being creative with the camera work, which was the only part of this I could appreciate. Not that it looks good or even works, but at least you can sense some attempt at creativity. The writer and director of this is the Spanish filmmaker Adrian Garcia Bugliano. To be fair to him and this movie, he has gone on to have a decent career, so I'm sure he learned a lot from this and other of his earlier work. Some of his newer efforts include Penumbra, Here Comes the Devil, and Late Faces. Something I would never have guessed after experiencing I'll Never Die Alone. The audio choices also left me scratching my head at times. There are some poor ADR work, some weird sound and music choices, and if they were going for an artistic approach then they missed the mark completely. I mentioned that all the female characters are forgettable, and the same can also be said about the group of bad guys, and the movie as a whole. I can't honestly see anyone that I could recommend this film to. Fans of this kind of brutal stuff will have seen this done better and more effective before, and that's the only crowd that I can think of that might have had any interest in seeing this in the first place. I'll Never Die Alone has nothing going on for it, and I was more bored and shocked during any of the brutal scenes. I'm sadly only going to give this film the score of 1 out of 5. Have you seen I'll Never Die Alone? Did you find stuff in it that was enjoyable that I might have overlooked? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And speaking of rape revenge movies, there is a new one out that impressed the hell out of me, and I highly recommend it, not just for fans of this subgenre, but for fans of cinema in general. The movie is called Revenge, and there should be a link for my review of it popping up right about now, so make sure to check it out. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again for more reviews of disturbing movies, or movies that try to be disturbing, here on Cinema Terror.